It's day 11 of Vlogmas. Hello and welcome back, or welcome if it's your first time joining us. My name is Marielle, and you are in Traveling Marketer. It's definitely summertime and I know you click on this because you wanted to see some really cool sunnies. But before I do that, I wanted to disclose something that I feel like I need to share. And that is to discourage wasteful consumerism. If you feel like, okay, as long as you are going to use what you buy, then that's fine. If you buy 11 swimwear, fair enough, as long as you wear it. Just really be mindful of what you buy, where you buy it, just be a bit more conscious of it, which is quite ironic for a whole, I know. But I've actually been really good in the past two years. I'm definitely guilty of buying more than what I need. In fact, this is my second haul. I will link up above swimwear haul that I did. And I actually started sharing there the catalyst for this resurgence of my of my shopping habits. Basically, we're going to Phuket for a holiday and a wedding that we're attending. And I started buying outfits for that. And then I wanted to buy swimwear because we're going to the beach and resorts. And then these sunnies came about because there's a specific sunglasses that I wanted for one of the outfit. And then I just refused to pay the shipping fee because there is a minimum spend to get the free shipping fee. So I'd rather spend over $120 than pay that shipping fee. Raise your hand if you're the same. I can't be the only one. I'm sure you, <laughs> I'm sure you guys are all in the same boat. But here we are. And you would have noticed if you watch my swimwear haul that I'm into something a bit more, not necessarily out there, or maybe it's out there, maybe a bit extra, but I'd like to call it a bit more unique, a bit more of a statement. That's definitely something that I am more into. But at the same time, I also like the classics. Yeah. So the whole point is that you get to wear it, makes you happy. And that is, uh, that is me. I have a mix of bars but I definitely tend to wear things that some people are not comfortable in wearing and that is okay but hopefully if you're here you can relate and you'll want to be a bit extra too or maybe just admire the beauty and let's get started but first actually I want to show you my outfit this is from Lulu's I wore this last year for a wedding and I don't think I have worn it again this for the second time I'm wearing it. it's definitely a bit more formal but because I thought I'm filming you guys are special I'm going to wear it and I've got some necklaces from Lavisa as well and I've got my Rudolph it's not a Rudolph I've got my reindeer headband which I'm actually going to take off now because this will be annoying as I put on the sunnies but let us go I'm going to start with the most expensive and I have them right in front of me that's why I'm looking down but I'm going to start with the most expensive of the bunch and then work our way down so let's get started with my first sunnies the Ray-Ban Wayfarers and there is a story to this let's show you guys here <laughs> okay so the story is, well, this is my second attempt and there will be a third attempt, but this is purely my fault. Anyway, first attempt was directly from the Ray-Ban site and I ordered the classic Wayfarer. So they have two versions now, the classic and the new. And this is the new. And if you look on the website, there is actually a difference. The, it's a bit more forward, the classic. When you put it on, it's slightly bigger, I think. And I prefer it. I just prefer the look of it. Put on the, uh, the classic and I got it. And as I put it on, if I look down, it falls off. In fact, I talked about that in one of the videos, which I will link above. And then I found out that they actually have a low nose bridge version, aka Asian version. And literally some of you look online, they call it Asian version. So I thought, oh, that is perfect. And then I went to Sunglass Hut actually offers that. So I bought this one from Sunglass Hut after I returned the uh, classic version directly to Ray-Ban. And I got this and I got really upset. Oh my God, this is not right. I just knew something was wrong and the label says new. So this is the new version and I had to look at my order. I did order the low, low nose bridge but of the new version. So they have low nose bridge and a classic version. Sorry, they have the new version and the classic version in the low nose bridge. But good thing with Sunglass Hut, they are everywhere. It's a big company. I'm going to return it in store and pick up. I've checked it online. They have the one that I want which is in classic low nose bridge in their stores in the city. So I'm going to go there, but I'm going to put it on anyway. So you guys can see. It's just not the shape that I want, but look, I'm going to look down. Does not fall off. 
So that it definitely works. At least we know that the low nose bridge works. I just wanted something a bit more casual. I already have their aviators. It is plastic. You can't adjust it obviously in the nose and like the aviators, but you can adjust it in here. I did not, there's a polarized version as well which is definitely more expensive, but apparently better for your eyes. I only have one Sunny's that polarized, which I might show you later on, but, and it would usually for Ray-Ban would have the P written on it. That's the first one. This was actually, this is $192, but I got it on sale. All right, do you guys have the Wayfarers? And it comes with the case. All right, I'll show you the case. Got the velvet inside, the classic Ray-Bans. My aviator case is the same. I think they just have different, they have black versions of it as well. Wade's Sunny's is a black case and it comes with the uh, the cleaner as well with their logo. I'm pretty sure that cl the classic would exactly be the same. If you actually go to Sunglass Hut, they, you can have a virtual try on and it's pretty cool. So you can see what that looks like. Next up is my, this is the Sunnies that I actually wanted to buy for the out. Cat's eye, the, the new, this trend that came about last year, a couple years ago, the very thin cat's eye wasn't my thing, but it definitely started growing on me. And I don't know for some reason when I, I will show you the dress as well that I'm planning to wear. And I just knew that the white cut side thin one would go well with it. And I wanted to buy it. And again, I'm going to link up when we went to the store where I bought this and they only had the red version, but I could buy the white online. And so I did. This is $108, which I bought from Bits and Pieces, but it is actually from Liz Specs in their collaboration with Adam Selman. I'm going to put it on. Oh, how cute is that? It's just, if you have, it's just, a, it's so flattering, isn't it? At least I think it is. <laughs> but it is so dark. It's just like a really dark black. It looks kind of, if I put that in there, a bit more sheer. But once you put it on, it's a bit more on the dark side. And I love it. It's just one color, similar to the Wayfarer. Cannot adjust in the nose because it's plastic, but you can potentially adjust it in the what do you call these wait do you know what you call the thing on the side of the glasses no the thing on the this side bit the arm he reckons it's called the arm but yeah but it is actually really fairly tight as well i have a fairly small face and then it comes with the lispex glasses so it's just a pouch so it's a uh, cotton material but it's got a, a front pouch where i've put in the um, lispex glasses cleaner as well it's got the magnet i don't think it's magnet it's just foldable type so you put it in there you put it in let's put that in might remove that later on and then you put the glasses cleaner what are they called? Temples? temples all right wait google it and apparently they're called temples and you put that in there i like it and a bit of a break actually i want to show you how i actually store my glasses i need to buy it <laughs> now i need to buy another one of these but i got this from Muji or is it Mui? That Japanese store and it could be used for uh, multiple things, right? But I thought it would be pretty cool for sunglasses. So you just open it up, clear acrylic glass. So, and then you would buy this separately. So it does add up. You can probably buy it without, but I thought it's nicer to, let me close that, to have it standing in there. And it's a velvet case and just pop it in there. And the idea was I was putting my not so expensive sunnies in these, and then the designer ones I kept in their actual case. But hopefully when we have a bigger place, I can have a proper wardrobe, which has all the sunnies and I don't care designer or not, they're always gonna be laid out potentially by, by style and by color. But how nice is this? You can see, you can see it. It doesn't take up much space. You can fit in six Sunnies per container. I might actually do a separate Sunnies collection as well. Back to the haul. All right, back to the haul. Next one. So the next three are from a brand called Key. So it's an Australian brand. It's actually quite popular and they do pretty affordable Sunnies. I got them all from Bits and Pieces as well and they were all on sale. They were roughly $30, $40 after sale, if not less than that. But let's have a, is it? Yeah. So I'll show you, I'll tell you the original price, but I definitely did not pay full price. This one is $63. 
how awesome. I mean, you don't expect too much from it, right? At the end of the day, they are, they're all UV protected, but they're just not, these ones are not really, it's okay if I drop it in the ocean or something like that, but still would probably upset me. But look at that, how cool, it's just around specs. Oh, it goes with my outfit, doesn't it? Oh, how cool, mm, love it. Mm. It's got the pearl details in there, one, two, three, four, five. And you can see the branding in there and it's called I'm Rich, <laughs> which I think because of the uh, the bling. So this one, you can adjust definitely in the nostril area, nostril, <laughs> in the nose ridge, in the nose ridge area in here as well. It's called the I'm Rich one, two, five. And it's got branding in there as well. Made in China, but really cool. It's got that two-tone, so that's really cute. I really like it. I don't think I have much that are two-toned. Yeah, I usually don't. I will show you guys the content, the where you put it later on in the end. Next up, another round. Well, it's not exactly round. Ooh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six corners. What shape is that? Is that octagon? I don't know. Hexagon. This is $70 full price, but again, I did not pay for that. And it's called Breeze In 148. And it's got the rainbow. Oh yeah. It's perfect for if you want to go, why am I dancing? But it's perfect for when you go to festivals, I reckon. But for me, I don't do festivals anymore. Uh, anymore. <laughs> I feel old. But it's still pretty cool. I love it. I have another one that has that multicolor. And I love it. I really love it. And they, I'll show you real close. The edges has that curly, curly line. No bling whatsoever, just gold. And the, oh my God, what do you call it again? Wait, not tentacles. The temples are, it's hot, it has that brown turquoise col color. The brown turquoise color, yeah? And that is it. Again, adjustable in the nose bridge area and potentially on the side as well love it it's a bit of um kind of big kind of covers the face but not quite yeah i love it i just love it again i like things a bit extra okay and the third one i've been looking for and i didn't really want to buy a designer one and i thought this is pretty cool a heart shape sunnies I, I saw that oh it's been a while i've been wanting one but i've just never really i did have a red one i think at some point but i got rid of it it was too valentiney but this one's pretty cool it's got that bl brown pink gold rose gold happening there heart shape metal frame same thing you can adjust in the nose bridge it's got a rose gold metal and a white clear here so it's softer in your temples and it's a fairly small, small heart shape. And again, two-tone, right? So it's got that gradient, gradient color. I love it. I just love it. And it's just so nice. I've not worn them outside. Obviously, you still have the tag there. So I'll let you guys know in the comments once I do. And the case is very simple. Again, that was $60 full price. It's called Heartbreaker in rows and there is another color to this and it's just simple case for from key australia a lot, similar style as to the list specs but less nicer less less bells and whistles just straight up and that's because i reckon uh for key i mean they're not bad full price still 60 70 but if you can wait definitely buy them on sale because they're always on sale and then the last one that i have here <laughs> is really cute i panic a little bit i've already bought it and then i saw a white version of it and it was a kid's version so i panicked a little bit thinking oh no did i buy a child's sand glasses and i'll show you why oh my goodness how cute is this love it all right, so it's plastic again. Got plastic in there. You can't definitely adjust the nose bridge there. Potentially the strap. There is the branding on the side here. It's from Sunny Life. 
in this one I happily paid shipping fee for because it was so cheap I think the actual sunnies were $10 and the shipping shipping fee was $15 but it all added to $25 so which I thought was still okay all that it's got the two-tone as well gradient darker brown up the top almost clear down the bottom oh, it's gonna go so good with that orange swim where I was wearing yesterday it's so cute love it very tight looking down does not fall and is they're got the sunny life is actually known for their summer hence the brand summer items so they sell a lot of floaters beach chair whatnot and then they have some some not a lot uh sunnies as well and it comes in this plastic so it can get wet container so you pop that in there it's neon orange button clip that Ooh, clip that and it's got a little carry on in here which if you actually want you can put it in your bag or just hanging out like that so i need to buy one other one of these put them all in here you go there you have it which one is your favorite let me know in the comment if you enjoyed that or gave you some good ideas or what what sun is to buy give this video a boop and please do subscribe if you haven't yet i will see you guys again tomorrow thank you for watching and let me know if you wanted me to do a full sunny's collection video as well because i have a fair bit i think i might anyway even if you don't say yes so thank you guys so much see you again tomorrow goodbye